When you look at the decision of build versus buy, it's obviously a complicated one. And I think that there's really three factors that weigh into it. One would be you know, the, the team that you've got on staff to do the job. Um, another is how long you have to finish the title. And the third one is uh, how much money you have. Because um, you know, if you, like in most traditional game projects, you really have a short timeline. And so if you have really large expectations for what your backend platform are, in comparison to the, the amount of money that you have to spend and the size of the team you have, then it really makes sense to go out there and license the system rather than doing it yourself. When you think about um, how much of a budget to put towards building out the back end of your project, there's a lot of considerations, right? I mean, obviously scope is the first one. If you're building a bigger back end, it, it just takes more people and more time. The challenge is that the back end tech is usually a lot harder to build because of the scalability issues. And so it's something that you really have to factor in a lot of time for. It deserves the full length of the production cycle to build the back end tech and you know, engineers on staff that whole time. And so um, just saying, well, we'll have two programmers work on this and hope that they can get the whole thing done is kind of underspecking it. What happens is the engineers are just as busy the day after launch as they were the day before launch. Uh, a lot of issues just don't get discovered during the course of development. And it's not until real users are banging on your system in mass that you really discover a lot of those issues. And so you can expect those engineers to be engaged with the project for several months afterwards, just sort of doing a lot of um, Band-aids, um, some scalability issues sometimes, um, and fixing the things that um, just weren't anticipated. 